Hi, I'm David. How many times in conflict, when you're in conflict with somebody else, have you found yourself reacting to something that they have done or said, and perhaps the communication hasn't, went, hasn't gone well, and also you really weren't able to really reach a consensus or to resolve the conflict? Well, what I've discovered is that there are basically four ways that people work to resolve conflict. I'd like to illustrate it by drawing this rectangle. There are some people who take an I win approach to conflict resolution. And what this person seems to be saying to me when I'm on the other end of it is that I have a very low consideration for our relationship, but I have a very high need to be right on the issue that we're talking about. I win, you have to lose. I'm right, I don't care whether you like it or not. And that's the way sometimes I'll take it when a person seems to be taking an I win position. There are some people on the other end of it who just take an I, okay, I'll just give in perspective. And what they're trying to say is, I care not much about what we're talking about, but I care so much about our relationship that I will let you win. Um, Sometimes this isn't bad. If this person is 100% wrong and this person is 100% right, that might not be a bad thing. Take, for example, a, a little boy playing out in the street uh, and it's a, there's traffic coming down the road. Should his mom step back and say, well, if you think you should play out there, it's okay. No, mom has to take an eye win position because then she'll run out in the street and sweep him up into her arms and pull him off the street and take that I win position. So sometimes it is necessary to take this, but most of the time it doesn't work uh, very well. Some people will tend to withdraw in conflict resolution. What they're saying to themselves is, I just don't know how to work to resolve this, so I just kind of need to back out of here and get away from this. But what they're communicating to the other person is, I don't care about what we're talking about and I don't care about us either. And so I'm out of here, I'm gone. Uh, in counseling sessions, I've had sometimes a, a wife just get up and storm out of the office or a husband get up and, and leave in a huff. And what he communicates is, I don't care. And when you're on the receiving end of that, it's very hurtful and it doesn't do anything to resolve the issues or to bring the, the couple back together again. So sometimes this doesn't work either. Sometimes it's not bad to withdraw in the sense of taking a time out. To simply say, you know, right now my emotions are stronger than I think they ought to be, and I'm really not sure how to handle this. Can I take a time out for 10 minutes and just kind of catch my breath and get refocused on what we're talking about and come back with a, a, a resolution perspective that might work for us? When both people in a conflict are willing to take a time out and honor the request for time out, and each one of them do that, pull away to a proverbial corner, as it were, and say, you know, what is it that we're arguing about? And what is my part in creating the problem? But then what can I do to be solution oriented? And then when the time in is called, by the way, if you call for a 10 minute time out, make sure you're back in nine minutes instead of 11 because that one extra minute that you take communicates disrespect. But if you come back in nine or a little more than that, what you're saying is I care so much about our relationship, and, but about the issue that I'm coming back in a timely way and I'm coming back with some thoughts about how I contribute to the problem and what I can do to potentially contribute to the solution. That's what this corner is. And instantly the language changes to let's. Let's work to resolve what it is that we're talking about. It communicates high concern for the relationship, but it also communicates an equally high concern for the issue. Now, I often think the relationship needs a Trump issue, most often, but, it's, but I think that we have to communicate that we care deeply about both and that we're willing to stick with it and work with it, sometimes taking timeouts because Sometimes emotions do get in a way, and sometimes the tensions are growing a little bit. But if we work toward resolving the issue with this high interest in the issue, but also the relationship, 
we're far better off. Sometimes it does take compromise, but compromise in this direction is what we're looking for, not compromise in having to win or lose or withdraw. So next time you're involved in some kind of conflict resolution issue, check yourself. What position do you normally take? Most of us can think, oh, yeah, I'm always the one who gives in, or I'm, I, I keep withdrawing, or you know, I take the I win position. Well, sometimes that's not the best thing that we can do. So the better thing is that how can I become a, a participating member of a team that, that works toward resolution rather than any of these others? It'll really help conflict resolution go a long way for you.